everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY I'll be making a wall scut and I'll be using this beautiful frame from Dollar Tree. Now this is a 5x7 and as you can see it's one of the iridescent frames so they are back in stock. They even have the 4x4s. The only thing that's different is it's not as wide as the ones that they had originally so I'm excited to share that with you guys. I don't know if these are wide enough to do the perfume bottles that I made before. I have an idea on how to use these as a perfume bottle, so I might just do one on my second channel or maybe this channel. But back to the larger 5x7 frame. I'm gonna use this to make a wall sconce. I'll be using the mirror from this decorative frame. And let me give you the skew. Here's the skew from this one. And I'll also be using some of these beautiful iridescent acrylic diamonds from Dollar Tree as well. Now I was lucky enough to get these from one of our YouTube family members. Her name is Ro. So Ro, this DIY is dedicated to you. Now I only have a few left and that's because I've already started gluing them together. Here's the skew for the iridescent ones. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is open these two pieces. I'm going to clean the mirror from this one. And I'm going to clean the glass from this piece. Again, I'm going to clean these two pieces, which is the glass and the mirror. Then I'll come back and move on to the next step. Okay, I'm back. I'm done cleaning my glass and my mirror. Again, here's my iridescent frame. So what I'm going to do is just flip this over and add a few drops of hot glue in the corners. Now I'll put my glass back inside. Okay, so now I'm going to place my border back inside. And now I'm going to take my mirror and put it just inside the border. It's almost a perfect fit, but it's not quite there. So I'm going to add some glue from the border to the mirror to help hold it in place. So now I'll go ahead and remove this from the back piece of the frame. This is going to be our top. So I'm going to put this on, press it down, put the metal pieces back in place, and now I'll add some hot glue to help hold it down permanently. Okay, so I'm done sealing the back end. Next up, I have this napkin holder. There's a skew. Now like in the previous DIY, I'm going to add my gems to this napkin ring holder. And this time around, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. There's a few different ways you can style yours. I would take seven of these gems and glue them together, and then five, and I'll show you guys what that look like in a little bit. But now, because I only had a limited amount of these gems left, I'm only able to do five on each row. And I also have two popsicle sticks that I'll be using to help keep these straight. Now, you can use hot glue to glue these together, but you might run into some problems there when you're gluing them onto your napkin holder. So what I've decided to do is add a little bit of my Gorilla Glue to each gem before I add the hot glue. So I'm just going to take the jam and put a little bit of glue right on the edge. The next one I'll add some glue. And then glue it to that one. Okay, so now I have five of these gems. And I'm just going to use my popsicle sticks to properly line them up to make sure that they are straight. And now I'll go in with hot glue and just drop it right on top. That was a big glob, I didn't mean to put that much, but yeah. Put a little bit of the hot glue right on top of where the two gems meet. So I'm gonna move those aside and let those set up. And here I have some that I've already glued together. So what I'm going to do is glue one right in the center. And I'm going to take some hot glue and put it on the two right at the end on each side. Now I'm 
Next, I added more glue on the back to secure it better to the napkin holder. Now, I added the Gorilla Glue because once you add hot glue to the back of these, when you connect them to your napkin holder, it will loosen the glue that you put on there before. So I use the Gorilla Glue to help hold them in place. So now, I'm gonna glue one right beside it. Same thing for this side. Just like that. So just like before, I'm gonna go in and add more hot glue right in the back. Take your time so it'll look really neat and clean. So yeah, that's all it is to it. Now originally, I was gonna do seven and five, so here's just seven clear diamonds. So what I did initially was put one right in the center and you would see how long that is. So I put one in the center, and then you could put another one right there on the side and just go all the way around, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five. And that's a really pretty look as well, but unfortunately I don't have enough iridescent ones to do that look, so I'll just stick with this for now. So what I'm gonna do is just continue to glue these on. And this is what we have. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at how it sparkles. So now I'll go in the back and reinforce my stones with more hot glue. I'll finish doing that and then come back. Okay, I'm back and I'm done reinforcing my beautiful diamonds. So now they're ready to go. Now, as for lighting, I'm gonna add string lights but I'll still have an option to add an LED candle if I want, or even a regular candle. Here I have the glass from one of those little glass candles from Dollar Tree. It comes about this full. I never throw these away. Whenever I use them, I always keep these because I figure I can use them in a DIY. Now this fits perfectly right inside of here. Perfect fit. Here's a string light that I'll be using, and you guys know I always get these from Amazon, and I'll link them below. So I'm just going to unravel this. So I'm gonna start out double wrapping this like this. And then I'm gonna go in, come through here, go up and I'm just going to go around like so. I'm just gonna keep wrapping it around, just like that. You can actually do this before you add your stones if you want to. Okay, I'm done adding the lights. And again, the candle holder will still fit if I choose to not burn these and just use the candle holder. Another option you have is the round Dollar Tree push lights. So those will work as well. Now, I'll just put my battery pack right on the inside. And that's how you handle that. You just reach inside, turn on the string lights if you decide to use those. We back to our frame, this is what it looks like with the mirror on it. I'm gonna use some of this bling from Amazon and just frame the outside right where you see the white piece. So I'm gonna cut my bling to where it'd be eight rows of this bling to go all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that and then move on to the next step. Just like that. So I'm gonna cut another row and put it at the bottom. Okay, so I'm done adding my third piece of bling. Now I'm gonna add a piece from here to here. Okay, and that's what that looks like. Isn't it gorgeous? And I like this bling because it kind of reflects color, like the iridescent frame, so it's gonna go really well together. Okay, now with that done, I'm gonna go ahead and glue 
this piece onto my back piece. Again, I'll be using some of my Gorilla Glue along with some hot glue to hold it in place. These are the only two pieces that's touching the glass, so I'll be adding glue to those pieces. So I'm just gonna fold this over to get an idea. It looks pretty centered. Press it down. Don't press it down on the top because you don't want to disturb your diamonds. So just use the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up this really small glue gun because I want to go in there and reinforce it with some hot glue. So this is where I'm going to add the extra hot glue right along here. I'm gonna take my smaller glue gun and just go right inside. Make one small bead all the way across. Okay, so now I have these little open areas. I wanna go ahead and fill that in. I'm gonna take some single pieces and just fit them right in on the side. Like that. Just like that. And that's gonna finish off the side. So I'm gonna do it on this side as well. Let this completely dry and let you see what they both look like on display. Cause you guys know I had to have two. You always want two wall sconces. So yeah, these are beautiful. And as promised, here are my beautiful wall sconces mounted on the wall. Here I'm using really dim light and you can definitely see the beautiful colors and the iridescent diamonds and the frame. Honestly, I believe this is another Z Gallery worthy piece. And it only cost $5 worth of Dollar Tree products to build it. All of the extra items that I used to decorate it, I already had on hand. So I didn't have to spend any extra money. Now your final cost will be dependent on what you have on hand and whatever you decide to purchase to decorate yours. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.